exciting news from the Florida Orchestra. They are back. Thankfully, uh, they were doing performances, uh, certainly during the pandemic, but things are changing uh, just a little bit. And again, there is a lot of excitement. And joining us this morning to talk about the details of the upcoming season, first time for our show, Mark Cantrell, the president and CEO of the Florida Orchestra. So what a treat to have you here. Good morning, Mark. Good morning. It's a this is a pleasure to be here. This is a, a really, um, you know, exciting time, I think, for the Florida Orchestra, for fans of, um, you know, certainly live music and the stage. And this is a big deal to talk about the new season. Absolutely. We are so excited to be back uh, to the Florida Orchestra that everyone has come to know and love over the years. Uh, although we were able to play last year, it was very different uh, than what we're doing this year. So we will be back in full force in uh, all of our communities, again, uh, bringing the power and the joy and the healing wonder of classical music. And I'm glad you brought that up because I do want to talk about that. There is something uh, about music um, that there is, I think, a healing component to that. And I think people have missed that. Um, again, you guys were open and, and playing shows last year, but there really is, I think, a difference in what's happening now. So explain the setup, explain what people know as we enter this new era. So the orchestra is here. Um, yes, we play concerts, but one of the most important things that we do is we're here to build community. And after going through what we've been through, it is so important for, for us to be here to help uh, the orchestra heal and to help us all uh, come back together and uh, get back to enjoying life and enjoying people and, and, and just peace and joy and share love and share, you know, being together again. Um, with that said, safety is clearly our first and, and foremost uh, priority. Uh, as it was last year, which we were able to do the 86 concerts that we did last year uh, safely. And so we have a few precautions that we're going to take this year. Uh, everybody will be masked in the halls, the musicians and uh, our audiences. And then uh, we're asking people to check with the individual venues for what other um, you know, requirements that they may have. But, uh, you know, our goal is to, you know, keep everybody safe, uh, you know, Wearing a mask for us just seems to be like a really um, a simple step that we can take. Yes, it's inconvenience, but we're asking everybody to make that sacrifice to help keep everybody safe, uh, audience and musicians, so that we can continue to bring the uh, wonderful power of classical music to everybody. If someone has not come out yet to see the Florida Orchestra, I love just uh, we, you know, just looking at the video there. It's just so special. Explain because you guys travel, um, you know, all over the Bay Area. You really try to make this music and these concerts um, as available as you can for people all over, you know, the Bay Area. Absolutely. Tampa Bay is our home. Uh, we play at the wonderful theaters of the Stras, the Mahaffey, and uh, Ruth Eckert. And it really is a, uh, you know, a kind of a tripart, uh, you know, uh, existence that we have. Yeah. Um, and so we are so happy to be able to come back into all of our halls this year um, so that people, you know, can, can experience us. And, you know, it's a wide variety of what we offer. When we think of an orchestra, we usually think of, uh, you know, one type of thing. But what we really offer uh, and especially this year is, is a bunch of blockbusters from pops concerts to rock and roll concerts to movies to, of course, our beloved masterworks. And of course, with our wonderful maestro, uh, Michael Francis, we also offer inside the music. We have a wide variety of things that we offer. If you like to be entertained and you like to have fun and you want to see live music, the Florida Orchestra has something for everyone. You know, as a mom, I have three kiddos at home. I have one, my daughter, uh, eight-year-old, taking piano lessons now. We have just a less uh, less than a minute left. But how important is it, do you think, that we take kids to see the Florida Orchestra and that just certainly classical music as well? And again, I know there's all sorts of things, but what is your thought about continuing that generation here as we close and making sure that people come out and see you guys? It is vitally important uh, for people of all ages, kids all the way up through, uh, you know, from two to 92, yeah. to quote Nat King Cole. Um, you know, it is vitally important for everybody to come out. It is such a great part of the development of young and old, and we highly encourage people to come out. Like I said, we have something literally for everyone that you can imagine, from hip hop this year to movies to rock and roll. It will be a great experience. I guarantee you will love it if you come and see us this year. Well, we've been showing the FloridaOrchestra.org. I'd imagine that's the best place, again, because there is so much going on. And again, the, the safety precautions, I know, are going to be a little different at each venue. Uh, just to make sure that everybody that was on the same page, that's where uh, you go, I guess, at, at first to figure out where you want to go and, and when you want to see it. Absolutely. Thank you so much for your time this morning. It really was a treat. And uh, best of luck for a wonderful upcoming season. Thank you very much. All right.